Well, welcome everybody. This is your host, Ken D. Foster. Listen, have you ever wondered about miracles? Do they actually exist? Have you ever experienced anything abnormal in your life that you couldn't explain? <clears throat> maybe a spontaneous healing, maybe an awakening, maybe something, uh, money fell into your bank account. You're like, how did this happen? Maybe a person came into your life that was just uh, there to help you to understand and learn and grow and become the best version of yourself. And they just showed up out of nowhere. You know, do miracles exist? Are they here? And can you use miracles to heal your life? Interesting. Well, we're going to answer those questions and a whole bunch more when we come back from the break. And I introduce my first guest on this show. And I want to let you know, he has a quantum energy healer. He sold over 60,000. Actually, he's transformed the lives of over 60,000 people. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay. Are you feeling stuck or in a holding pattern with your business or life and you're not doing the things you want or love? Then at some point, you're going to be faced with a decision. You'll either choose to keep living in your comfort zone and risk a life of mediocrity or increase your courage, step into your power and forge into the unknown where everything new becomes possible. If you're truly ready to live masterfully, then you need Ken D. Foster's newest book, The Courage to Change Everything, Strategies and Wisdom to Transform Your Life One Day at a Time. This powerful but simple guide provides you with 365 days of life-transforming wisdom, profound questions, and action steps that will increase your strength and open the doors to success. Stop wondering why your business or life isn't working. The answers are available now. Imagine if you had more courage or another chance to start following your dreams. To pick up your copy of The Courage to Change Everything, visit thecouragetochangeeverything.com. That's thecouragetochangeeverything.com. All righty. Well, I am excited about this show. I'm excited about this interview. I'm calling this show The Courage to Find the Way of Miracles and Heal. And my guest is a very special guest. His name is Dr. Mark Mancola. And he has uh, been a nutritional therapist and quantum energy healer who has transformed the lives of over 60,000 people over the last 35 years. Through his energy techniques and his cutting edge nutritional science, he has developed something called the electromagnetic muscle testing. It's a one of a kind approach that zeroes in on each individual's unique nutritional needs. He's also got a new film out that we're going to be talking about. Dr. Mancola, welcome to the show. So glad to have you here. Tim, thank you so much for inviting me. Great to be here. You know, um, think of a there's a lot of people can use miracles out there right now. Um, are miracles real? You know, is, is that is that something that uh, people can experience in their life? Or is that something that people make up? Well, speaking from my own perspective, over the past 37 years, I've, as you pointed out, I've worked with 60,000 people. And I've been able to, to personally attest to and, and, and be personally involved with thousands of healing situations that were truly miracles. You can, you can only call them miracles because of the, the, the way that they unfolded. And to, to think about the book, the book is actually, and, and the film, the film as well. There's several people that we talked, there's six different patients we talk about in the film. People that had brain tumors, people that had infertility, people that had Parkinson's, very serious illnesses. They've all had miraculous recoveries. So. Speaking from the perspective of those experiences, I think the key is I want to share with the world some of what I think it takes to make that happen. Because we've, we've lived it. We've experienced it. And it's, it's a routine part of our daily life. It happens every day. Well, you know, I, I, and I want to hear that because I, I want to know and I think my audience want to know, you know, how miracles can impact our life. Let's just talk. Let's just start there. Well, for starters, miracles 
as you as you pointed out a few minutes ago, can actually range from from the almost impossible. I mean, we had one one woman in the film who had a brain tumor the size of a golf ball in her frontal lobe. She had it surgically removed, and then in two months the tumor grew back. So she said, I can't go through brain surgery anymore. That's just too much for me to go through. I, I can't do it. Whatever happens is going to happen. If I, don't, if I succumb to it, I succumb to it. But I'm just not going to go through brain surgery. It's too much, too stressful. So she was referred to me from a friend. And we worked together very intensively. We worked nutritionally. We worked, we worked positive, ment ment positive mental attitude, things like that. We worked very hard for five months. In five months, the tumor actually disappeared. The tumor was gone. She's been nine years tumor-free right now. So for nine years, she's had no re, no return of the tumor. It's been pretty remarkable. That's that's the kind of miracle we're talking about. So what what is it that accomplishes that? How do we do that? I think the key is we have to understand that miracles happen in a specific plane of consciousness. We tend to be in, in the mundane state of consciousness, the everyday kind of brain, the everyday ego ego mind, if you will. And miracles don't happen in the ego plane. They don't happen in the, in the, in the mundane planes. Miracles, miracles happen in, in, in the extraordinary planes of higher consciousness. When we, when we take the time to devote ourselves to elevating our consciousness, our awareness, to tap into the source. Again, I say the first part of the book I talk about an identity crisis. I say that the identity crisis that actually keeps us from miracle making is referred to as having to identify your I, identify, re-identify your I. Mm -hmm. The average person uses the word I 500 times a day. Who is that person? Who is I? I think we need to take the time to tap into the, to the core, the source, the true soulful self that is the I that we talk about. To, to emanate from that place, to become tuned into that, that core source of I, to, 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 to correct the identity crisis, to, to heal the identity crisis, is to put us in a position to make miracles. You know, it's interesting. I, I come across in my own work um, people that are going through um, crisis. They have, uh, you know, identity crisis. They have... Uh, soul crisis, I guess, where they're, they're waking up. Uh, they don't know who they are anymore. Um, some, you know, people get you know, in your business, I guess you get a lot of people that, uh, you know, have health challenges and stuff. <clears throat> do, do, do people really need to go through near death experiences and great health challenges and all that to become aware? Or is there, is there a, a better way to do this? I don't think they do have to go through that, Ken. I think that it's, it's within the realm of reason to expect that for people to tap into to, to do their spiritual work, to do, you know, whatever, whatever the spiritual belief system is all about, to, to, to take the time to, to transcend your mundane self, like I said a while ago, to, to go into the deeper level of self. You know, your mind and your, and your brain have very high frequencies that they can work in, and they can, actually be, they can actually be developed. Those frequencies can be cultivated, so we can actually work at a higher level of consciousness to be more sensitively attuned to who we truly are. It's emanating from source, from that core that I keep talking about, as opposed to the ego. I mean, we tend to spend most of our time, most of our day, I should say, in the ego space, the ego plane or the ego field of consciousness. And I think that we tend to minimize our potential. We tend to sabotage our potential for higher, high living and, 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 to, to, and to perform miracles. And I think if we go into the source and meditate more, pray more, and to develop our core self, our core, our, our core identity, to re-identify ourselves. As a, as I love that. Well, listen, it, you know, in your book, you know, you um, you talk about the superconscious mind. I know Albert Einstein said, "All you know, um, all I want to know are the thoughts of God. The rest are details." Was he talking about the superconscious mind? What are we talking about there? I sure believe he was. Yes, indeed. I think that's exactly the case. I think that the the, the it's the self that we tend to identify with, as we said, on a daily basis is, is, is a good survivalist. It's a good survival mind. It's a good survival consciousness. It, it gets us to work to, to work every day. It gets us a paycheck on Friday. It puts groceries on the table. It's important. It's not, it's not that we're trying to leave that behind. It's not, not that that's unimportant. It just needs to be accompanied by a deeper connection to self than that. So in other words, to have your quiet moments, you need to ask yourself who you are in your quiet moments. I, I, one great exercise in the book, I asked the reader to go to the, go to the nearest mirror and to look in the nearest mirror, eyeball to eyeball. You're looking in the core of your eyeballs and you're connecting eyeball to eyeball with yourself. 10 minutes, take 10 minutes to look in those eyes. Take 10 minutes to just feel the essence of yourself. There's an essence that you'll pick up on 
it's a vibration, it's a frequency, it's it's pure essence, like I say. It's when self is reduced to the concept of essence, that's when the that's when the power begins. That's when it all starts. So once a person starts to be able to connect deeply with their self or their soul, what we're talking about is that's where the miracles, the magic, the synchronicity starts to happen. And that's where the healing energies start to come forth or come into that being or come in so that the person can heal. Is that is that what we're talking about here? Is there something else going on? I, th I think I think there's a different climate, There's a different climate. I think when we enter into the climate where that 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 kind of reality can grow and prosper. In other words, it's, it's like when you grow certain vegetables, certain vegetation, certain fruits and, and vegetables in certain areas, they do better with certain climates. Some some fruits and vegetables do better, like artichokes do better when it's dry and hot. Everything does better in certain climates. So energetically, I say that we need to tap into the, the, the climate of miracle making. The climate of miracle making is that deeper subconscious, super conscious self, that, that part of us that is, is, that is that is divine, if you will. I love that. Okay. So listen, when I come back from my break, um, I want to take a little deeper dive into the uh, into the film and why you made the film, what that film is about, how it can change a person as they're watching that film and uh, things of that nature. So we'll be right back. There comes a time when you know you need to restart and regain control of your life. A time to seek freedom from the anxiety, addiction, and other issues that may be bringing you down. A time to heal and re-emerge as the real you. Villa Kalima is a holistic residential recovery program exclusively for women for individualized treatment. Villa Kalima offers proven clinical and holistic therapies for the mind, body, and spirit to assure sustainable recovery. Villa Kalima focuses on healing the cause, not temporarily masking symptoms. It's the only way to truly recover and find yourself again. Villa Kalima is located in a beautiful, peaceful, resort-like setting and is a licensed and accredited residential treatment center accepting a variety of health insurances. Start your healing and renewal today by calling Villa Kalima in La Costa, California at 760-814-8214. 760-814-8214. Villa Kalima, a place for transformation. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, before I get uh, back to my guest, I want to let you know about a sponsor I have on my show. And I think that uh, some of you are out there and you're, you're suffering with uh, leg cramps, restlessness, swollen, fatigued legs, uh, is, is that you? Do the, your legs ever keep you up at night and uh, from sleep? Well, you might be suffering from chronic venous insufficiency, most commonly caused by blood clots in a deep vein in the leg, which can lead to more serious health issues. So I've connected with this amazing sponsor. It's called Vi the company is Vita Support MD, and they have a vein formula supplement that will help you relieve uh, that pain in those legs. It was developed by a cardiovascular surgeon. He's a friend of mine. His name is Dr. John Chuback. He's a great guy. And, you know, he was on a mission to educate physicians and patients about the important role uh, dietary supplements can play in the management of vein and lymphatic disease. So I hope you'll check him out. Uh, you can find it at biosupportmd. Dot com. That's biosupportmd.com. If you uh, if you want to relieve your suffering, go check it out. I know you'll you'll be uh, you'll be uh, happy. Did. Okay, back to my guest, Dr. Mark Mancola. He's uh, written uh, an amazing book, The Way of Miracles. He also has a new film out. I want to talk about that and. Um, uh, kind of take a deeper dive into consciousness because, you know, a lot of people are waking up right now. You know, they're going, they've been shut down. This COVID-19 thing shut a lot of people down. And now we got the new Delta strain coming out, which uh, I hear there's good news in that. It may be contagious, very contagious, but it's also not very potent. So uh, that's good news. But let's, let's talk about, um, let's talk about the film. I, I want to know about the film. Why did you let's uh, give me the uh, give me the rundown on the film and why you uh, why you brought it to market? 
Well, I mean, for many, many years, as I said, I've, I've been fortunate enough to take part in true miracle situations, healing, miracle healings, not one or two either, quite a few, and some very dramatic. So quite naturally, I decided that it was important for me to share some of these extraordinary healing experiences, some of these extraordinary miracles of the world. I mean, you couldn't, you could no more, you could no more take part in these processes and keep them to yourself than the man in the moon. I mean, you, you couldn't do it. I mean, if you, if you went through what I went through, you'd have to share it. Absolutely, you'd feel compelled to share it. And I did. So I met with a film producer from New York named Christina Bracillo Bresson. And Christina's a very brilliant filmmaker. So we got together on this project and we mapped it out for about four years. It took four years of mapping and mapping and mapping. We decided we we're gonna take like a half a dozen patients and let them tell their great stories. So we wanted great stories and great storytellers. We, we got them. And their miracle stories are very powerful. They're very compelling. They're, 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 they bring you to tears and to laughter. They're just incredible experiences. And we decided that it was important to try to make that happen. Along the way, I actually had a miracle experience of my own that I didn't expect. And that happened mid, midway through the film. So it's a little extra surprise in this film and in this book. Are, are you willing to share that with us at all? Or Yeah, no, that's fine. I am. Um, Again, as I said, we're halfway into this. We're, we're a couple years into the into the film and pre-production of the filming, halfway into the process, mapping everything out, ready to go, ready to, ready to have patients tell their remarkable miracle stories. In the middle of it, I was bitten by a Lyme tick, and I actually contracted neuroborrelia. And neuroborrelia, if anybody doesn't know, is, is, is a very profoundly inflammatory condition of the brain and the nervous system. And I couldn't walk long story short is I, I got sick pretty quickly. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't two weeks before I was incapacitated from this, this, this Lyme tick bite. And my chemistry was, was responding really poorly to it. And I was taking medication that was both natural and, and pharmaceutical. I was seeing physicians. I went to the, I went to hospital, a couple of hospitals. I went to rehab. I went to a lot of professional support and I wasn't getting better. So long story short is one day, I, I was having trouble walking and balancing myself. I fell on the bathroom floor, hit my head on the hard tile bathroom floor, and I couldn't move. I was paralyzed. I couldn't move a finger, couldn't move a toe, couldn't move any part of my body at all. And there were a bunch of house uh, cleaning chemicals that I knocked over when I fell. I was breathing in clean, cleaning chemicals, and they were going down my nose and down my mouth at the time. It was horrible. Spent 14 hours on the bathroom floor, and I was... I was in, unable to move anything. I could, I guess I couldn't move, paralyzed. And I thought to myself, if I'm paralyzed the rest of my life, do I want to live? I actually had to confront myself with that question. Do I want to live? If I had to live like this, could I do it? Do I want to do it? So I didn't answer myself. I, I didn't have an answer. So about half hour after that question, I asked myself, I had an interesting thing happen. I started screaming for help. I screamed as loud as I could in my apartment building for help. And the truth of the matter is I didn't know that I wanted to live until I started screaming for help. I started screaming for help. I knew that I wanted to live. And I actually opened up this whole, this whole wave of thinking in me, this whole wave of consciousness. It was determined to write the film, to write the book, to actually make them happen. And if I had to do them in a wheelchair, I was going to do them in a wheelchair. Whatever it took is what I was going to do. And I became determined to, to live through the situation, to survive it, and to have a miracle. And I did have a remarkable miracle because I, I went through this miraculous healing experience that was unexplainable and the physicians couldn't explain it. And it was just an astounding miracle that I went through. So the first, the first chapter in the book is entitled my unexpected miracle. And that's what that was about. Wow. Wow. I'm glad, I'm glad you, you experienced that. I mean, wow, that that's amazing. I can't really wait to read the book uh, just, just to connect with that. Um, you know, I gotta, I gotta take a quick break and then we'll, we'll be right back. And then um, I want to, uh, let people know how they can get the book and also how they can uh, listen to the film. So we'll be talking about that when we get back from the break. So stay tuned. Are you out to make a difference? Do you need results? Wasabi Publicity is the perfect PR team to help you take your message to the next level. Recognized by PR Week and Good Morning America for innovative practices, 
Wasabi works with authors, speakers, and organizations committed to doing good in the world. Wasabi believes conversations change the world. Stories you share shape how you think, feel, act, and how you experience life. Ask yourself if your website, social media, and PR coverage reflect the stories you wish to share in the world. Are you making the difference you want to make? Do you have the results you wish to have? Kendi Foster, Voices of Courage radio show host, says Wasabi is the best in the business, period. Schedule a complimentary PR consultation with Wasabi CEO Drew Gerber at publicityresults.com. Today, women in business are helping each other prosper like never before by overcoming stereotypes, networking together, and sharing essential resources. Since 1991, Women's Wisdom, the premier business networking organization for purpose-driven, soul-inspired entrepreneurs, has helped women grow their businesses and become the best version of themselves. Women's Wisdom hosts online events with celebrity speakers, best-selling authors, and business experts dedicated to helping you, the small business owner, expand your possibilities, build new relationships, and get the right referrals. Take your business to the next level and join Women's Wisdom at womenswisdom.net. That's womenswisdom.net. Well, welcome back, everybody. If you just joined me, I'm with Dr. Mark Mancola. He's a nutritional therapist and quantum energy healer who has transformed the lives of over 60,000 people, and he's transforming the lives of people that are listening to him right now today. So, you know, there's a lot of people stressed out out there in the world. Uh, They're worried. They're concerned. They're stressed out. Listen, how do they start to live a life of miracles every day? Stage one. Re-identify yourself. Accept the fact that you do, you don't have a clear identity about who you truly are at the core level of your being. And then by tapping into the essence of your being, like I said, look in that mirror. Look, go to that mirror. Look in the mirror. Take 10 minutes. Don't, don't rush away from it. Take the 10-minute period, full period, to really look in your eyes. And while you're doing that, consciously feel the, feel the, the essence of your being. Feel the essence of yourself. Feel the energy of yourself. That's your soul. That's that's your that's your eternal self. That's the energy that is the real you. And I think we need to, to stop disguising ourselves to ourselves. I think we need to admit who we truly are, get in touch with who we really are, and, and emanate from who we truly are. I love that a lot. So so what you tell you know the uh, the yogis uh, uh, say that we're uh, sat chit ananda, uh, ever existing, ever conscious, ever new bliss. And when we start to get in touch with that. Thing, miracles start to happen in people's lives. Um, what about the mind? You know, mind is such an important piece of this. You know, it's, uh, I know in my own journey, uh, you know, I had a very negative mind when I started out, uh, very critical, very negative, And, you know, and, and I was stuck and depressed and a lot of things like that. How important is the mind uh, in finding miracles in our lives? Well, the mind has, the mind offers up different states. So I think the state of mind has a lot to do with the accessibility of our soul. I think when you're when you're tapped into a state of mind that is like theta, delta, or alpha brainwave states, we're more inclined to have access to the to the essence, to the isness, as I like to call it, the essence of self, the, the, the soul, the energy. If we're in the beta brainwave state, forget about it. Beta brainwave is the traffic jam, it's 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 root, root canals at the dentist, it's just not a peaceful place. It's a place of distraction and pain and suffering and confusion and, and the monkey the monkey mind, you know. So I think the key is to, to, to think that you have access and you can cultivate higher mind through higher states. And that is what the mind is all about. The mind is actually offering us these accesses, these portals 
the higher states of being that actually en enable us to, to tap into the real world and miracles and, and remarkability. Dr. Mark, let me ask you this. What, what would you say is the, uh, um, I mean, maybe there's not one way for everybody, but if, you know, if there was one way to really help people to tap into those higher states of consciousness, what would you say it is? I think it's meditation. I think that, you know, we, we, we've talked, here's, here's what I wrote about in the book. I said, we've talked about meditation since the 60s. And meditation was initially thought of as a 20-minute proposition twice a day to just quiet your mind. I, I contend right now, and I've written about it in the book and talked about it in the film, I contend that we have to become meditation. It's not a matter of taking 20 minutes twice a day anywhere. That's, that's history. That's what we used to do. I think we need to become that energy that meditation produces. We have to, we have to walk into that field of energy and become the essence of that energy. So it's not, it's not a matter of doing meditation. It's a matter of becoming meditation. I love that a lot. I think that that's, that's exactly it. When we can become uh, that state of consciousness that we connect into when we meditate, um, you know, I know for myself, nothing can upset me, nothing can bother me when I'm in that high state of consciousness. It just doesn't. And keep, and keep this in mind. We don't have consciousness. We are consciousness. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, um, you, you know, there's so much I wanted to ask you. We could have gone deeper, you know, karma and disease and, and uh, you know, questions on, you know, whether there's destiny and co or is there just, uh, you, uh, you know, are we just creating all this or there's destiny, is there purpose? There's a lot of things we could have gone to, but I know a lot of that's in your book right now. So for those that uh, would like to connect with Dr. Mark Mancola, uh, we have on the screen right now the waysofmiracle.com. Waysofmiracle.com. Is that they could get the book there and or the film, or is that where? It's, what, it's actually the wayofmiracles.com, and that's actually where they can access the film. They can actually watch the film on the wayofmiracles.com, or they can contact me at markmincola.com. M A R K M I N C O L L A, markmincola.com. And the book is certainly available at amazon.com. Okay, listen, I'd love to have you back on in uh, right in the beginning of the year. I hope you come back on and uh, do this again with me. I'd love to do it. I enjoyed it very much. You do a beautiful yeah, job. Thank you. Thank, program. thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And for all of you that are my loyal guests and subscribers, I want you to go out and reach out to at least one person this week and tell them about this show. This show is a show that can help you and your family and your friends change their lives and become a much better version of themselves. In other words, how do we change our lives? Well, Dr. McCullough was just talking about that. We have to learn to slow down to succeed, tune in, become, become the consciousness that we are already, instead of trying to identify ourselves with things that we're not. So you'll learn that and so much more on this show. But listen, I hope you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, if you liked all the replays, you can go to CourageToChange.us. And from my heart to yours, I hope you continue to see the unseeable, to know the unknowable, to do the impossible, become the best version of you. Who is the best version of you? Hmm. It's a good question. Why don't you ask that this week? Just keep asking. Take care.